Hello and welcome friends. In this video, we are going to derive the equation force is equal to mass into acceleration and we are also going to discuss why the value of k that is the proportional day constant is equal to 1. So without wasting any more time, let's get right in. Now let us consider a body of mass m which is moving with an initial velocity that is equal to u. Now let a force f be applied on this body. Now due to this force, velocity of the body changes to v, where v is the final velocity and u is the initial velocity. Now what is the momentum? So final momentum that is p final will be equal to mass into final velocity and what is the p initial? Initial momentum will be given by mass into initial velocity that is equal to u. Now, according to Newton's second law of motion, force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Now, what is rate of change of momentum? It is del p divided by t, where p is the momentum. Implies force is proportional to what is del p? P final minus P initial. P final minus P initial divided by T implies force is proportional to what is P final? P final is equal to M into final velocity. P initial is equal to M into initial velocity divided by T implies force is proportional to when you take the mass common we have v minus u divided by t. Now, according to equation of motion, v is equal to u plus a t. If you want acceleration, we will have v minus u divided by t. So, implies force is proportional to mass in place of this v minus u by t, v minus u by t, let us put acceleration. Implies force is equal to. Now, to remove this proportionality sign, we have to put a proportionality constant. Let k be the proportionality constant. So, it will be mass into acceleration. Now, putting, putting k equal to 1, what we get is force is equal to mass into acceleration. Now, let us discuss why the value of this k, that is the proportionality constant, is equal to 1. Actually, what happened? At the initial times, the scientific community was trying to make the formulas more simple and we did not define what 1 Newton was at that time. So, we had the complete freedom to define it according to our wish. For example, we could have defined the force exerted by this brick or this stone on the ground as 1 Newton. So, what we did was we defined 1 Newton in such a way that the value of k comes out to be 1. Means, if we make force is equal to 1 Newton, mass is equal to 1 kg and acceleration is equal to 1 meter per second square and when you put these values in this equation, the value of k that is a proportionality constant automatically comes out to be 1. 